This all started because we wanted clean air. To become aware that this new future that is already here is not happening if it's not with the community power. Yeah, so we have to check a website to make sure that he can go outside that day. The website will tell us if, if it's clear for him to go out, it'll be green. If, it, if he can't go out, it's red and he has to stay inside whether he likes it or not. Uh, sometimes it's so severe that he wakes up in the middle of the night and he can't catch his breath so it's like rushing over to him when he's making those breathing wheezing sounds and putting the machine on again and hoping that his lungs will open up and he can breathe again. It's really scary when your child stops breathing. So recently the American Lung Association um, produced a report on the quality of air and Maricopa County came out as one of the top 10 most polluted counties in the whole country. And Cartwright District is in Maricopa County. The children that we read about and the statistics we see in, on TV and newspapers and magazines, we are it. Alex is a statistic. I started contacting mothers that had their children in their schools. It was a very fresh conversation, very new conversation for the, for the mothers connecting this issue of clean air, dirty buses, diesel buses with asthma. So we organized a group of moms um, called the Cartwright Moms, along with Theo organized community members in that Cartwright school district. And together we advocated for a school bond to pass. It was a $60 million school bond that passed in 2020, which would give money to the district um, to support their infrastructure, to support their buildings, to support renewing their bus fleet. Not only do we need electric school buses, but in order for school buses to survive and to actually uh, thrive, they need good infrastructure. Uh, bond passed, we wrote a grant, the grant was for half, car rate paid for the other half, and then it was where do we put a charging station? There were so many details, and I'm not gonna lie, it was hard, but there was never a time where we said, we're not gonna make this happen. And so, just standing here today, I just got off the bus. And my heart's pounding because I'm so excited. Having this electric school bus is the confirmation that things happen because this community has power. And I hope community leaders Everybody that is involved with the community find these strategies to continue to activate that power that is in the community. Don't be afraid, because once the community knows that there is power there, they will exercise that power. <laughs>